Yeah, we're alive. Interesting. We are alive, indeed. Oh, right. So the shaman. There we go. I'm gonna pull up the bracket here too, see if we can get uh, bands from this game. So it looks like Whiskey Wolf is gonna have his paladin, druid, and uh, priest against Alanon's warlock. Uh, Dragon priest, right? Yeah. Against Alanon's warlock, shaman, and rogue. Uh, so it looks like warrior is banned for Alanon, and mage is banned for Whiskey Wolf. So, all right. Whiskey Wolf starting off with his priest. Yeah. Uh, it looks like he's things. Yeah, it looks like old school dragon priest. So, um, you know, good luck. Keep the hope alive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and of course, we have uh, down at the bottom here. We have Alan on doing his uh, his best to do shaman things. So, the way this grand right. finals is going to work is, um, let me double check the brackets to make sure I say this correctly. Mm -hmm. Because Whiskey Wolf has never lost a game, if he loses the first match, we have a second match because it's double elimination, All right? Right. Double elimination, um, right. Right, whereas if Whiskey Wolf wins this, he wins, period, because Alanon is already on his first loss. So he would, if he, it would, this would be his second elimination. So we could have oh. up to um, six games, right? Wait, uh, one, two, yeah. three, four. We could have up to ten games, actually, if all if all went to five. Uh, yeah, pulling out the Feral Spirit. Pretty basic play there. Yeah, this has been a lot of straightforward uh, stuff. Black missions, that's right. Kill one of them. So I think uh -huh. Whiskey Wolf. Flame Tongue. Right, Whiskey Wolf is gonna uh, take out the Flame Tongue totem with his uh, with his Blackwing Corruptor next round. Right. I mean, that's that's got to be the way you do this. Although he's gonna take some hurting in the process because or right rock biter on something. Yeah, oh, yeah. Are you thinking nice Rockbiter, the hurt, um, the hurt, um, yeah, the hurt, yeah, I can't remember, Spirit Wolf, yeah, and then into the into the Blackwing Technician, and then, yeah, you can trade the the two three into the two two, and then face, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go this mm. route though. Right. I don't I'm think I like this. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, kind of like greedy much. on that thing. Yeah. And You're just assuming that there's no answer from the priest. Uh, that's, okay. That's a good... Ah, I think he's he's waiting for the combo, which is Doom Hammer, Rock Bite. Yeah, he's he's planning on just burning this priest down as soon as he can. Now, now here's a question: Do you throw that on now? Take your two hits in, no. and then yeah, see. I, I think I, the thing you, from below will be awesome here. You have to. In my opinion, although yeah. it's gonna get eaten alive right away. Sure, but it absorbs at least one minion. Mm. Oh, he's doing it right now. Yep. Okay, and then he's gonna take the black wing out with one of the hits. The the black wing corruptor, right? Oh, he's uh, beating le lethal right now. Or not? Oh, no, he's see. doing that one. No, I would have. Okay, he's gonna do both. Wow. Wow. I don't know His if I'd have used it up like that. so sore now. <laughs> okay. I'd have taken out, personally, the 5-4. And then yeah. hit face with the other 5. At least you're... Hurting the priests a little lower than 15. Right. Right. Well, the 7-7 seven seven is out. And... Yeah. Sylvanas will be a great answer here. It's it's just too bad he doesn't have a way to kill it himself. True. Uh huh. Like you Same know, tongue, yeah. That's right. Moat lurker. <laughs> <sighs> True. Uh hmm. How to? Okay. Okay. So you're hitting the dragon tree two times and let the yeah eleven seven hit the priest. Yeah, he's trying to threaten Man. lethal right right here and now. Right, because yeah, Alanon is kind of in the 
in the lower end here. Yep, fully no bubble for healing. Kinda unfortunate that you absorb that. <clears throat> okay, survival. Oh, yeah, I just don't yeah. know that there's much that he can do. Right. <clears throat> just threatening right now. Uh, he can't bring anything back with Nazoth because it's only round nine. And even right. then, what does he have to bring back yet? Just Sylvanas, right? Uh, I think you chill mall hit this just for. You do chill mall this round, get your other death rattle from your, your um, right. curator. Or I guess, yeah, he'll face right. too, either way. And you've got the dragon in hand. So you're going to yeah. take out some of this board. In fact, all of it. If, if Yeah, I, that was... Well, no, I mean, team? obviously not with the Divine Shield, but... Yeah. That one mana, or that one, one damage minion is pretty much nothing at this point. Now, Nizot will be interesting now. Yeah, then it's the right time to drop it, too, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah, at least two. I think that's the rule for Nazot now, right? At least if you came back for two, that rattle minutes, so you're a golden. Right. Uh, hmm. The tables have turned and kind of. Yeah, he can't. Alanon really... is kind of in the rut here. Yeah, he's, <clears throat> he's out of cards now. Right. I mean, he's just top decking his way in, and uh, yeah, things don't look too hot. <laughs> yeah, I think it's checkmate. Well, I mean, we'll have to see what he top decks here, because uh, I don't know if he, he's running Lightning Storm or um, Elemental Destruction or something to that effect, but he seems too aggressive for that. Yep, there's the game. Oh, it's gone. That was good. <laughs> yeah. A lot of back and forth. Yeah, the priest almost died there. Unless, uh, what's this? Chilmo has a great pull. No, exactly. And you know what it really reminds me of is um, warrior games. You know, yeah, playing against Dragon warrior. Warriors. Yep. And then they'll yeah. they'll they'll stabilize against you. So. Dragon, yeah, dragons have great stalling minions. Mm -hmm. Well, not even just the dragon, but control warrior. You know, you get a. I, I've played games with control warrior, gotten down to one health, and then they end up winning the game because they end up with like seventy three armor and still that one fucking health. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Ah, oh, right, rules, right? Yeah. That's this is a great matchup, though. Oh. I've seen this. I've played against this deck. <laughs> Is this the Cthulhu Reno deck? Cthulhu yeah. Reno Nazoth. It's like... Oh, okay. If I'm not mistaken. I think this is a two gods in one deck. All right. To, to, to me... It yeah, to me it feels like it's trying to do too much. Right. But... I think the cartoon is uh, just insurance. I think only the blade of cartoon is only in play here, right? Or is it there's no beckoning? Yeah, I don't. Uh, or think... there's no cartoon minions other than the blade of cartoon. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's the only one. Or there's two of them, but you know. Yeah, two of blade of cartoon. Yep, there's Nazoth. All right. Uh, yeah, hit. You hit it. Yeah. No oh, thanks. Uh, I think the hero should be dropped. Or you need to sacred. Yeah, I think you use stab. Not on my protector that thing. Again, and hit. 
Yeah, and then next turn you want to put down your your Darkshire. Um, oh, he put the back of on Darkshire. Your oh, okay. See, I, th I was trying to remember. Yeah, yeah, it's overloaded. No, they're just not great. I don't I know. thought it's only Blade of Cthulhu, but. See, and I think having a couple extra and uh, Cthulhu minions in there is going to help out a lot. Back to your homes. Ah, uh, yeah, but for me, it's kind of overloaded. My, my red. Oh, you know what? Fight, Reno. He doesn't have two of the other one. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the so assassin. no duplicates. Yeah. All right. Uh, the torrent. Oh, you're hitting. He wants to deny the uh, divine shield value well, right. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say this is where you blessings your. <laughs> your oh, bubble. that's hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To me, that's what blessings of kings. Time to assassinate thing. Yep. No, that, that's what blessing of kings was made for. If you ask me, is is. Anything with bubble. bubble minions, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Time to kill that tutu. I'm curious yeah. about the bile fin in in this. I think he just a clearing thing. thing. Oh no no, it's the one health minion. Oh, the one health. All right. Yeah, because that's I one. I think it's a combo too. Yeah. Yeah, you play that with the, the dark shire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was trying to remember. For some reason, I thought this came out as a tutu. No. Uh, yeah, Reno. I, is it Reno right time? Now. No, I, th I yeah. think you can take out a little bit it's more. It's kind of 18. All right. But for me, it's Reno because 18 is kind of cutting it. None may steal our secrets. Okay. Right. And see, now okay. is where I'd Reno. Reno. After attacking, of course. It just feels like you got a little bit more done with your life. Yeah, but. Well played. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> no, that, that well played was because he's got more damage uh, coming behind. <laughs> yeah. The light protects me. For duty. Ouch. Seven. Uh, betrayal. Yeah. And that's pretty handy. Um, it's not gonna really take a lot out though. He can maybe take out this two, the, you know, one of the one ones and the divine shield off the other one, or he could right. bring this down to one health and take this out, or you know, Thank you. It, the positioning yeah, the from was. I, the, the positioning right, from Whiskey Wolf uh, is actually pretty good right now. Yeah. Trail that. And then you attack, yeah, dagger the yeah. other one. Get Reno with, yeah. Uh, still on the board. No, you can't consecrate that. Yeah, really. Big. Now you could use Consecration and take out the board. The board, right. And you're still left with a 2-2 on your side. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um... <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no. That's a oh, terrible no, no, sap no. target. No! Why? So, why? Why do you sap a one mana minion? That, I mean, it doesn't even have anything special. I think Bren is only. Yeah, Bren is the proper answer there. Yeah, because now he's going to steward and and, and uh, uh, Blessing of Kings. Or not steward, yeah. but uh, Ar Argent Squire. And Blessing, Blessing of Kings. Squire. Kings. Yeah. Now that's what you want to sap now because Guard of the Kings is out. Okay, Katoon. Yeah, place that there. It's a uh, good 
damage absorber. Yeah, plus, you know, Cthulhu buffer. True. Nine uh, Blessing of Kings. Yeah. That's five. And yeah, great divine for favor on this round. Yeah, it's a, actually a really good one. <laughs> ah, Journey to Darkness. Is that right? Yeah. The Call of... Reporting for duty. Okay, Katoon. It's kinda low. Still 10. Okay. Great use of blade. Now, now it's a serious Cthulhu. Right. Uh, Back to your homes. Oh, the combo. Oh. Stand against the darkness. Yeah, combo. That's just I think mean. it's time to use the Cthulhu here. <laughs> I don't know, you think this is better or worse than, um, you know, Knife Juggler Unleash or something? <laughs> mm, this is worse because it's bubbled things. Bubbled is, this is six damage hitting you. No, mm. no, it's 12. 12 damage distributed, so. Where are you getting the other three? Much... It's nine. Oh, this is six, right? So six plus three. Oh no no the only the minions only the minions, not oh, dark shy. Oh so it's six then. Yeah. Six plus the bubble because bubble is one damage also right. Oh I suppose if you're counting it that way, but it's not yeah. guaranteed. Right like, like so. Okay two. Do you take? Right yes. Great Cthulhu. It's a good Cthulhu, but I mean, he got maximum value out of that. Um, out, out, out of the, the, the shield. But interestingly, it's the rogue is still 14. She, she, she should be at 10 right now if it done something. But... Yeah. Yeah, he's going to stand against and then. Um, Reporting for duty. And then defender of Argus, and he can save himself till next round, where he can have enough damage to win because of Leroy. And he right. can actually Leroy True Silver, so I mean that's ten damage right there if he needs it. And he uh, should be able to maintain four damage on this board somewhere. Flame juggler, no. Hmm. <laughs> Horrible shot strike, but in where are you gonna get your other three damage? Mm. You're just gonna hope it comes from no, yeah, kind of cheeky in a way. Yeah, it's right. game over. Whiskey Wolf wins, right? Because <clears throat> he's got four damage on the board plus the ten in hand, yeah. If as long as he's counting, right? Leroy's six. Yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> surprised. I think one. Six, right. There it is. Wow. Yeah, that's what I've said that yeah, that's what I said that that cartoon other cartoon minions is kinda stuffing it too much. I feel like going after Cthulhu in this deck is too much. I think you just use the Zod only, right? The problem is they're using that nine mana minion like an assassinate is really the whole point of it. Yeah. Right? It's hard removal. And uh, I, I just like think there's insurance. better ways. But it's only, yeah, if you take this deck as, as it is, Cotton is just insurance that when you're in the Zod doesn't pull the minions that you want. You put out this blade of Cotton and kill the biggest one there. Right. And you have insurance for Katun for hitting big. Valera versus Malfurion. Okay. Uh, he got a Katun Druid, right? Yeah, Katun Druid. 
So now this is match point for Whiskey Wolf. If he wins this yes. game, game's over. Right. And it will be a short one if it happens. This is this is an interesting fight though. He's got Vecklor in there too. Wow. Wow, it's tough. This is a tough turkey. Well, I mean, we we know greedy decks can work. I just don't know. I don't know if you can be that greedy as a rogue. I don't think the rest of your cards support it enough. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, this is all just prep work right now. Uh, especially since Whiskey Wolf's really hand is nice. super heavy. Yeah. And he's happy to take the two hit <clears throat> right there. Does he have an innervate there? No. No. No, Whiskey Wolf could sure use an innervate. He'd be happy to get one. Uh, that's. Kind of waste of fan of this, but yeah. yeah I I mean, three dance, three journey for draw below? card. Oh, he's he's thinking about it. Are you coining out journey below? Yeah. Well, he's making sure he's not going to overdraw if he doesn't. Think counting his cards. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but journey for yeah journey below would be. Oh, okay. He skipped. Take next round. Yeah, he, he's only got eight cards, so he's fine. Uh huh. Can yeah, it's it's important just to get going. As, as this Cthulhu druid, you can't you can't let him sit around. It's been too long uh, already. You show this try again. Yeah. And that's that's back on our right. Because just looking at hands, um, I would have said that Whiskey Wolf was ahead, but after that exchange. Um, that yeah, uh, Alanon got some great value, and it's kind of uh, early to place out the Kalaxi, right? Because his Nazar, oh, or sorry, his Katoon is not ten. Right, but at that point, what do you do? Do you put that out, or do you put out your Spellbreaker and use up a Silence? I think the Silence is mm. is worth more. No, it's just Spellbreaker because it's not. Right, but you're using uh, up. You know the you know the cards now, but it's all battle cries and shit. So spellbreaker is not. No, there's there's important feasible. things that you're gonna want to, to. Uh, hmm. uh, but for that moment, I guess you should put that out. I don't know, personally, I, I I would have valued the the silence over the extra five health on a minion. Hmm. Okay, Cyril is the answer here. I yeah, I'm, I probably would have gone with Cyril as well. Right, okay. but I think he's just trying and to dig the beckoner. Right, but yeah, uh, Cyril is always the answer there. Oof. And that hurts. Oh. Hmm. What? What with the shadow stuff there? This is wonky. Well, this is this is this deck trying to get maximum value, right? You shadow step your Reno back into your hand, mm, or or your Nazoth, or your Cthulhu. <laughs> I think he's missing the other shadow dancer or something. Oh, the one that summons a one-one copy. Yeah, I think that's a better card instead of uh, shadow step mm, i think shadow step is working on on the the battle cry aspect because if you shadow step a, a a 10 10 cthune like that's pretty decent you know that's All right okay oof whiskey wolf keeping that twilight elder on board making it rough yeah mm-hmm can you betray? Yes. Can betray. Betrayal only will Can kill the you. Twilight Elder, sadly. Right, but... And he's not even going to do that. Which I am highly against. I would have killed that right. Twilight Elder. He's really yeah. bad. For reasons now such it's as this. now now it's kind of hard now to 
Oh, I, I would have still kept my Twilight Elder alive. I would have killed him with the, the Azure Drake. Yeah, true. Personally. But now it's kind of hard now because that seven bodies mm -hmm. kind of hard to kill. Yeah? All right. No? It's Cthune 10 now. No, right? Uh, I don't think Cthune is 10 yet. No, because uh, Vecler would be glowing. Ah, okay. That's right. Oh, it's that, is that a new thing? Now it or... is. No, oh, um, right. anytime any of them are activated like that, they glow now. Oh, interesting. Didn't uh, check back on that. Yeah, that works for, um, like, uh, rogue combo cards as well and stuff. Cool. Uh, yeah. This yep. is now pretty hard. And what, is he going to coin out a Sylvanas too, or...? Oh, yes. okay, no, you're just going to put the Twilight oh, no. Elder out. Right. That's cool. Now, 16 is now looming at his... Oh, Skulker. Wow. This is pretty great. Um, this is a decent time to use it, though not the greatest. Because um, you still got a lot but of cleanup you can't to do. Still, you can't kill the 5 7, though. That's pretty yeah, hard hitting at this health, which is 13. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to put up the Vecler here. Yeah. Twin Amps. Vecler and. And then next turn, you're going to have to to Reno, probably, with whatever Reno, gets yeah. through. So many options. Yeah. This is not looking good for the rogue. No. Are you just going to Reno oh, now? Okay, early Jackson. Early Jackson here? I'd say this turn or next turn. Okay. I th that's why you would do it. Shadow this turn. stab. All right. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's, that's the that's the argument for doing it this turn. Hmm. True. Because then you can also even Vecklor and Reno in the same turn with your coin. True. Um. Yeah. Maximize damage. Yep. For whiskey. Um, yeah, do you put you out your Ragnaros? Yeah, see, so yeah, I would. Yeah. Just get that damage out there. Are you gonna... No, no, no. no. Uh, I think he's hedging against Cthune. True, but... Oh. He saw the Reno. Mm. Assassinate. Yeah, Veckler still. No, Veckler. You, you would put the Vecklers out? I, like, I would assassinate yeah. Reno, almost. Hmm... Because then you deny any usage out of out of Sylvanas. Sylvanas, right? Oh, and then Dark Iron? I would not have gone with Dark Iron. I'd have picked anything else. <laughs> no, I think he's killing uh, that one thing. Yeah, just one. Like, the, doesn't seem like he got a, a lot of use out of that. Mm, okay. There we go. It's kind of late. That'll be game over. I think it's better than before, than Sylvanas, though. For whiskey's sake. Wait, oh, if you'd put Ragnaros yeah, on Ragnaros. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, oh. That's the way you well, stay alive. No, no, you yes. can't You can't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, you no, have no. to. No. You have to. All right. Because mm. otherwise, how do you stay alive long enough to kill the because even if you kill him yeah see that that's the way you do this because even if you killed um ragnaros you're still left with a five five on board with only five health right oh interesting all right so let's let's try this again 30 health okay. <laughs> uh yes why Okay, maximizing removal here. Would you drop the tree? Oh, he's not dropping the tree. Huh. Okay. 
Okay. Blade of Cthulhu. Oh, that hurts to trade a 4-5 into a 5-1. Yeah, Blade of Cthulhu. Now, now Cthulhu is pretty, yeah, pretty big. It's chunky. And now you're going to start getting that but three to face. Cthulhu is not... Yeah, Cthulhu is not dropping from whiskey yet. So he's now in 16 Cthulhu, right? Uh, eight, uh, eight, uh, Alanon's Cthulhu is an 18. No, no, Whiskey's. Whiskey's Se 16, 17. right? 17. 17, all right. Okay. Two. Yeah, you want to clear the board up. Okay, 21. And then do you silence this? You silence yes. Innervate in Ancient of War? Probably. Yes. Your magic shall not save It's now a uh, six, right? Yeah, now it's just a six, six, and then you put Drop up the your... tree. Yep. Uh huh. Auctioner? Yeah. Yeah, auctioneer auction. eviscerate. And praise the RNG Jesus for a better card. Yeah. Oh, that's, not what you that's want. a great drop. We drop. I mean, it's a good card, uh, but he wanted another spell. Keep well, digging. Yeah, but Bran is kind of great there. It's an insurance for Nazot. Mm. But yay, Cthulhu. This Ouch. could be it. And it looks like it is, because he doesn't have anything, yeah. any taunts in his Nasoth, does he? Nope. Oh, no, no, Infested Torrin. Did he use it, though? He must, he, he didn't use it this game. No. Yeah. And and but like that, we have a winner. Whiskey winner. Wolf takes yeah. the first, uh, I, I don't know if this is annual GLT, or whatever. Yeah, the first, <laughs> yeah, the first game on Asshole Tournament. Well, congratulations, Whiskey Wolf. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah pretty awesome so it's pretty uh, fast yeah it was very Three fast days, right I gotta congratulate him in chat <laughs> yeah congratulations <laughs> that's pretty awesome well anyway uh, we'll, we'll cut the broadcast then here that my name's Tenvek and uh, joining me is R R. <laughs> all right uh, and you can find us on uh, Twitter we're in Diamond Club we're in all the fun places that you want to be so Check yeah. us out. And until next Search time. Search it out. Yeah, thanks. Exactly. Thanks.